Secretary of State John Kerry began his 10-day trip to the Middle East, Europe, and Asia in Turkey, the linchpin to a possible solution of so many international problems. In Istanbul, he urged Turkish officials to restore full diplomatic relations with Israel, severed after a deadly Israeli raid on a flotilla trying to break an embargo on Gaza. We would like to see this relationship that is important to stability in the Middle East, critical to the peace process itself, we would like to see this relationship uh, get back on track in its full measure. But the Turkish foreign minister insisted all embargoes should be eliminated. Turkey also could be key to a possible solution in neighboring Syria. It already is straining with an influx of thousands of Syrian refugees, and the Obama administration wants it to keep its borders open. The secretary's trip was overshadowed by news that a 25-year-old Foreign Service officer, Anne Smendinghoff, had been killed by a suicide bomber in Afghanistan, along with three U.S. military service members and an American civilian. He remembered her in emotional remarks at two stops in Istanbul. Anne was everything that is right about our Foreign Service. From Turkey, Secretary Kerry flew to Israel and then came directly here to Ramallah for a meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The meeting lasted for an hour and a half, a senior State Department official said, with Kerry and Abbas focused on spurring economic development in the Palestinian territories. Monday and Tuesday, he'll meet with Palestinian officials and with Israeli officials in a bid to revive the peace process. Jill Doherty, CNN, Ramallah.